hard to believe that a couple of years ago I was just slumming it, starting off poetry in Perth, and now I'm on the other side of the country about to start this amazing adventure. I can't wait to see where it takes me. part about it is just how it changes from the countryside to the rainforest like almost instantly and it's absolutely beautiful and look Perth is absolutely flat it's amazing to be able to experience like some sort of mountains and hills it's tiring mentally tiring because you have to concentrate you never know when the next sharp turn is coming <laughs> I had this dream that I walked into Parliament House. Yeah, what the hell is this freak teaching our kids for? That thing that I gone done just did was a slam pop. There are actually like quite a few really, really there interesting and engaged students that wanted to learn about slam poetry and we had our workshop, took them through the, the flow. Yeah, I saw something similar. There was a teacher, a gay teacher and a, a, a gay drama teacher. Um, and the parents found out that he was gay and they pulled their kids out of the class and he pretty much said to them like you know what as far as I know being gay doesn't affect in any way my ability to teach your kids. I, I forget that I'm trans sometimes and I think that's I have to acknowledge that that's a privilege that I have as a binary trans person like I identify as male so I fit in as much as I can fit into that box, I guess. There are people that don't, and they really struggle. Adding flavour is the last step. Amazing. We're just at Kempsey Library. We're about to have the uh, poetry slam here. I wonder how many we'll get here. How are you going? Good, how are you? I'm going to be from the workshop today. Yep. So what are you... I'm happy to see you here. What are you expecting? Um, some really interesting poems and, well, slam poetry. I just have to warn you, I didn't know what slam was, <laughs> so I'm pretty um, conservative. But he started on pseudo effigy, in and out of prison and back doing meth again, and they called weed a gateway drug, or medicating state thugs, hand out prescriptions to addictions while the victims fade away into dust. It strangles the sunlight, blacks out the outside, her bedroom lies darkly enchanted. But it's not that easy. The world isn't an easel and we are not its artists. All we can do is take care of our planet. Stop global warming and stop countries sinking like the Titanic. Use your heart and you've had it from the start. On to life's highway, I say. By the way, I'm doing this my way. And guess what? I'm doing it today. They like to sit on fences at sail yards or rodeos having a joke with other cattlemen. Go on, get out of here. Get them back, Rusty. <coughs> With Catwoman, you don't need a lot of words. Respect. In that moment, see, I could be anything. I could be like Beyonce, Taylor <coughs> Swift, the next Adele. Hell no, give me Jimi Hendrix fame or Eminem notoriety, for no dream should ever be crushed by reality. So yes, in that moment, I'm a rock star. I never know my side because I'm from a five of different nations. And when I'm coming down, I never fail. And when I'm sailing, I've got the wind in my mind, I've got the wind in my wings. And every time I come back, I know I'm sitting the sea. Our country is in drought right now, all dry and bare and brown. For farmers struggling to survive, but they must not be downed. Few people seem to care about them. Banks act like mongrel hounds. Politicians hide themselves like termites in a mound. Hands around my waist. It's all been for this moment, all of it the chase. And in this moment, I feel wanted, desired, sensually inspired. And in this moment, he feels, I don't know. Ask him, find out, I haven't tried. Lean in, I'd rather die. My poem oh, yeah, is yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's more like natural therapy. Yeah. And yeah, it was just recapping on travelling around the world playing didgeridoo and seeing a lot of crowds and a lot of people that look a bit lost. But so much talent, so much talent, you know, like I went into a writing thing at the high school today and there were a heap of kids there just going for it, you know, so, and it's so fantastic to have this in Kempsey. Kempsey Slam was really good. The librarians were really into giving all sorts of different prizes. They did a People's Choice prize as well, which I thought was really, really cool. Dry 
climbing away from Kempsey, uh, one of the librarians told me about a place called Mermaid Pools in, uh, on the coast. So we're just going to go see if we can find it. I got some bad news from home. I was telling everyone about how amazing my girlfriend is <laughs> and how I missed her, but she sent me a text message and broke up with me. Didn't answer my phone calls for the following week. So I think that this would be a good place to spend my day off. It's probably a good place of healing. So I'll go for a swim. One thing I do realise from the hormones when it comes to like the whole men are from Mars, women from Venus thing is like I'm still the same person underneath it all but you know the hormones do affect how you think uh, subtly. So um, you know when I was uh, living as a female um, it was very detail oriented. I used to be able to like gossip and chat and just talk about anything for hours and then um, after a few months on testosterone I remember chatting to some of my female friends and after a while I was be like, yeah, but what's the point? <laughs> it's over there. So it's getting um, getting towards the end of the journey now. Um, I ended up in Gosford. Uh, the slam was good, the workshop was good. My friend like pushed me to go into the poetry um, But you can sort of tell how the people change as you get closer to the city. Kids, dead in kindy. Teens, splattered for the front page. Best death today gets set of stage. And in my late blooming talents, I held my tongue. I prisoned my thoughts. I didn't whip my body away from threat angrily enough. Will the narrator blame me? No. Ensure women are protected. What arm do I have to give to ensure women are respected? The wrinkles in my skin are not the rips in the paper I once thought they were, but the folds in the corners of the pages. I learned to change who I was, what I wore, how I saw my world was made up of only you. It was beautiful. It was like seeing things through water. When I think about love, I think about how I am loved. I am love. I choose to love. I choose love in every moment, this moment, each moment, this moment, always love. And our stories are worth more than silence and beauty is more than pretty. So why don't you bleed with me? Unpopular opinion. Absent fathers can be the best ones. If I didn't know my dad, I'd be glad, but I know who he is and I know he's not one of the best ones. He brought to his countrymen the tools of war, the tactics, and the gun. And in our mourning, we remember him. And at the setting of the sun. Waking up with an anvil on my chest, desperate for genuine rest after hours of technicolor nightmares, my whole body aches. Breath short, racing heart, anxiety simmering like lava beneath my skin. I have PTSD. Uh, my problem was about uh, mental health, particularly um, post-traumatic stress disorder, which is something that I suffer from. And I think it's not um, very widely understood. So I just wanted to put some words to um, what it is that I feel. It's called Lest We Forget. And it's a, a challenge, not a challenge, but it's a, it's a re-examination of what it means to say Lest We Forget. So lest we forget for the, the frontier wars and um, yeah, acknowledge our shared history. So I'm driving over the, the Sydney Bridge, looking out over the Sydney Opera House, which is the ultimate big house. And I'm just like uh, nostalgic with the feelings and the emotions I had. And like, you know, looking at the Sydney Opera House, that was the place that started whole, all of this journey. It's like you're, you're always there. You're always driving your body, right? Um, but your body might go through different things. Like, you know, even if you look at like aging, so you know, you're still the same person. No, literally, I would be dead if I didn't transition and I wouldn't have been able to do this cool stuff. Jesse Oliver, please make him feel welcome. I had this dream 